Hello beautiful people! In today's video, I will be showing you how I created this gold flake goddess glowy look. Stay tuned for the tutorial. So I'm taking my MAC Stroke Cream and I'm just going to dab a little bit on the high points of my cheeks the bridge of my nose and Cupid's bow and chin. Next I'm going in with my MAC Face and Body Foundation. This is a very lightweight foundation. It's really going to give me that glow that I'm looking for without adding too much coverage. Now I'm dabbing it with my fingers. Then I'm going to go ahead and blend it out with a beauty blender. For my under eyes, I'm going in with my Ben Nye concealers. I've already depotted these um, from before. These are a professional concealer brand which gives me a little bit more coverage and blend. So I've blended it out using a damp beauty blender, looking good. Now I'm going to take those same Ben Nye concealers, but this time I'm using a deeper shade to use as my contour. And I'm using the warmth of my finger to apply it on the contours of my face and a little bit underneath the nose and the sides. Using a fluffy brush, I'm going to blend this contour out. Next, I'm taking this pink color right here. This was actually a lipstick that I depotted from before. You know, it's always nice to use lipstick as blush because it gives you a very nice, glowy, and healthy look. And using the warmth of your finger will help you blend this product out seamlessly. It looks absolutely stunning on everyone. Now using the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Powder, I'm going to first make sure that there are absolutely no creases underneath my eye. Then I'm going to take a fluffy brush, dip into that powder, and then just set the under eyes, make sure everything is locked in place. To set the contour, I'm taking my Lancome Star Long Lasting Bronzer and I'm applying that with a very fluffy brush, making sure that I blend this all out. And I'm just gonna take a little bit on the forehead and on the sides and tip of the nose, and also on the crease of my eyes. Using the Sahara Volume 2 palette, I'm going in with that light pink shade, and I'm just gonna set that cream blush that we applied earlier. I'm going to spray a little bit of the Mario Badesque Cucumber Spray. I like to apply this before highlighter because it's going to give the highlighter uh, a surface to stick to and with a fluffier brush, you're going to get a little bit more of an even blend than if you do it with a fan brush. This is my personal experience. Alright, now moving on to eyes. I'm using the Huda Beauty Mercury Retrograde Palette and I'm using my ring finger blending four different shades together and applying that straight to my eyelid. This is going to give me way more amplified effect of the eyeshadow colors. I'm using a fluffy brush with the shade Karma and I'm just going to apply that on my crease to deepen it out a little bit more. And I'm also gonna take that same shade and apply it underneath the lower lash line and give it that smoked out effect. All right, you guys, now that we're done with the basics, we're moving on to the very fun parts. This is where I'm taking my golden flakes. Now I'm using a tweezer to sort of apply them on top of my eyebrows one by one in tiny pieces. I'm using my other hand to fix them in place. And let me warn you, this was not easy to get these little flakes to stick until I finally figured out that maybe if I applied some oil, then they would have a surface to stick to. So that's how it all happened. 
I've cut out some individual lashes and I'm just gonna apply those on the outer corners of the eyes. Next, I'm taking my Kat Von D tattoo liner and I'm going over that lash line just to cover any little imperfections on the lash line. Then I'm gonna take my NYX lip liner in the shade Whipped Caviar and I'm just outlining my lips. Using one of the beautiful mauve shades in the depotted cream colors, I'm going to be applying it using my finger and sort of smudging it out on the outer edges. <laughs> and then I'm going to top it off with my Fenty Gloss in the shade Fussy. I absolutely love this gloss. Alright you guys, the makeup is completely done. We're moving on to the hair. Whenever you're creating an editorial look, it's really important to get the hair going as well. So I'm taking my spray bottle and it's filled up with just water, spraying down the hair a little bit, slicking it back. Then I'm taking my Pantene Nourishing Hair Oil and I'm using my fingers to sleek back the hair. Now that we've sleeked back the hair in a very loose manner, I've already cut up some of these beautiful gold flakes and I'm just going to apply those in the front of my hair, sort of creating a very fairy tale look. This is the finished look, you guys. It's such a beautiful fairy tale, golden, and glowy look. I love creating it. If you like this video, make sure you like, subscribe, and share it with your friends. And thank you for watching.